up everybody? This is Brumanare. Oh, what? And we got some plants versus zombies here back at survival. Except one thing has changed, bros, and that is we are getting hard. So hard. And it's like, before I played this, right now, I didn't know what hard was. Boom, that's what she said. But apparently hard is higher level zombies in the first day. So we got bucket zombies, we got cone head zombies, which we don't usually get until the second day. Um, I like my setup here. Anytime I can get my Gatlin peas down is is a good time. And not only that, but as as you can see. I didn't bring my miracles. I've been messing with my Zen Garden and I've I've got the money I need. I've bought most everything. There's like a slot for 80,000 I didn't get in the... what else? Im imitator? Is that what it's called? The Imitator? Something like that. I didn't get that either. So I really don't need the money anyways, but I don't think I would have brought the Marigold because it's hard, bros. It says it right there in the title at the bottom, survival day hard. So I want to see, is this really hard? Because I still haven't lost, ever. So bring the, bring the heart at me. Bring, bring your hardest hard. I can handle it. I wonder how long we got before the bucket zombie comes in. Because right now the bucket zombie could make it through my defense. Unless I potato mind him, or I could I could walnut him. I could give him the ye old walnut. Now I'm leaving a space because in between my repeater and my snow pea, I'm throwing down my melon hold. That's gonna probably have to be safe for another day. I don't see us putting down melons on day one. Because don't forget, bros, it's hard. You know what? I'm, I'm so pissed off. I didn't even get to play World of Tanks this weekend. There's three times experience for three days. Didn't even get to play it. And not only that, but the, a new patch came out today. That I haven't got a chance to check out either. Just there's too much shit going on, bros. Oh, there's my zombie tar. What's up, bro? See, I tried to make him look like a Norseman. But he came out looking like that the, the dad from West Coast Choppers. Hold on, that was a wave? Apparently that was a way. Well, if that's all you got for hard, this is going to be pretty boring. I'll be pretty damn disappointed in, in the level of your hardness. That's what she said. Um, who knew that I would get a melon pulp down? I wasn't expecting that. But the recharge on the Gatlin P takes so long. But by the time I put down the melon pulp, I have enough money to throw down the Gatlin. In fact, I got the money right now and it still has a fourth of the way to charge. Uh, 
Okay, zombies, you're gonna have to show me something. You're gonna have to show me how hard you are. Because right now I'm not seeing much. Your hard level went from, oh no, I don't know what hard is, to very flaccid. They should have said survival day, flaccid, one flag completed. We're on day two. Don't need my sunflower anymore. Need those two. Need that. Need that. What else do I want to bring? Um, I will need... Do I want to go... Cactus? I'm still trying to think what I want to do. I think I'm going to do that. I thought about bringing the... Thing that just will blow him away, but I decided to go cactus. I'm thinking I made a good choice. Look, look at that recharge rate. Quick recharge. Now I don't know what it does. Does it go for like? Does it instantly go for air units first? Or does it just go for whatever's closest? Like if there was two zombies in front of an air unit, would it? What would it go for? I personally don't know. I haven't used it enough to ever have paid attention. But they're saying this is hard, and they can't make it off the first little square. You guys are gonna have to step up your game because this just isn't working for you bros. I mean right now I'm embarrassing you. I just wanted to beat you. I didn't want to embarrass you in front of all your zombie friends. Uh, we got we got balloon zombies coming in. Damn, they have like no health. Once you put them on the ground, they have like absolutely no health. They have less health than my zombie tar. Which I thought that guy was worse than the business casual zombie's health. Even with the balloon dudes, you guys are just not getting far. I mean, I will say this, that was a pretty uh, pretty decent wave at least. They didn't bullshit and say, you know, have a flag coming up and then it sucked. That was, that was pretty legit. I don't think they're ever getting through this defense, so even so, even as good as it is right now, I'm going to improve upon it. I'm going to get a line of walnuts in front of those three Peters, start throwing down some pumpkins. When I get built up on some sunlight, I'm going to take out that second row of sunflowers and put something down. I don't know what yet. I'm not sure about it. Maybe Gatlin P. Um, let's do that. I get a little surprise for the uh, football player here. I got a cherry bomb. Okay, this lineup is just owning. Oh, here's his first test. We got we got the uh, B team coming in. Let's cherry bomb these guys. Okay. 
Okay, they're not messing around. They're, they're sitting... They're sending their roster in, their football roster. Getting me some chocolate. Pop that football player's head like a pample. Get out of here, kid. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that second row of sunflowers because we're, we're slowly building up some sunlight here. Especially after I get the row of walnuts down. We're going to have more sunlight than we know what to do with. Try. That was a decent push. You guys finally had a decent push right there. Damn, I forgot to put the. They were getting far down there. I was just like, how are they getting so far down there? Boom, I forgot to freeze out my melon pulp. I forgot to ice it out. Damn, trying to give me diabetes with chocolate. I don't need that much chocolate, bros. All right, we damn, we got the whole football team coming in. We got the kicker, we got the punter, we got a couple running backs, and down they go. You guys blow. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. That final wave was not as substantial as the middle wave. That's bullshit. I don't even know what day we're on now. Is this four? I think it's four. Click to launch deadly cobs of corn. It requires two kernel pulps. Okay. Let's try this cob out. I just don't see how they're getting through this defense. In fact, I could probably even put pumpkins around the walnuts. Make it, like, impeccable. Make it impregnable. Make it impossible. Make it... That's all I got. I ran out. Hold on, what's going on with the... What's going on with the kernel pulse? I thought you... Yeah, it requires two. I got... Five. Um... Am I missing something here? Kernel pulse. Maybe they have to be front to back and not side to side. I don't even care anymore. I don't care anymore. You guys ruined it. Forget your... Forget your corn cob throwing thingy. I don't like it. I can't put it anywhere. I can't get rid of my snow peas and I can't get rid of the back row of sunflowers. We had like the perfect lineup ready for those uh, pole vaulters. They were coming in to a losing situation right off. Damn, more chocolate. No, I like chocolate, don't get me wrong. But even I can't eat that much. 
That would give me a gut egg. There's the point where you can get over chocolated. I've seen it happen, it wasn't pretty. Alright, bring your huge wave. I mean, it better be huge. Oh, they took out my... Damn you. Damn you all. They took out two of my... Dang, I don't even have anything to replace them with. Good thing the stage is about over. I did not bring the nuts with me. I did not bring my nuts with me. You always gotta remember your nuts when it's hard, obviously. I didn't, you know. Thought didn't cross my mind. Spike rock. I'm gonna throw that down. On the homemade basketball launcher pulp of science. Looks like something some little kid made in his backyard. His dad helped him through it together so his kid would shut the hell up about it. But he made sure to put it together so he could so the kid would get hurt on it. Because he was sick of getting bugged about it. So he was just like, alright, I'll build that for you. Let me just keep this bolt here loose. Make it so it tips over. Right, I'm going to put some spikes down all along that front edge. Nothing will get through, I tell you. Now it says that it hurts zombies that walk on it, but I've never noticed that. And obviously there's too much going on to notice it now, but I've never noticed it. It must be like the smallest amount of, of difference, like just the, like one hit of health off of them. I'm still waiting for this hard I've been hearing about. I'm sitting here, I'm waiting, I'm ready. I've, I've, I've shown that I'm ready to be hard and I just haven't seen anything. It's pretty disappointing. Oh, I lost a wall. How did that run my... Hold on, how did that run my walnut over? Because... Do the spike strips not stop that thing? I know it stops the Zamboni, but I guess it doesn't stop that. Because he just drove right over one like he wasn't shit. Maybe there was two together? And I got the first one without the second one? I don't know. I didn't see two at the top. Maybe I'm blind. Okay, that was a pretty good push. I will, I'll give you that. That was a good way. I don't know if I'd exactly call it hard. It was like... Mediocre. Alright, their final push on the final day is not... How disappointing. That's all you guys brought? The final day, the final push, and that's what I get? Maybe I'm just that good. I'm sure that's what it is. Anyways, bros, we just threw down... some day... survival on hard. Unlocking survival fog hard. With that, I'm going to wrap this up. I don't think the hard is, is, is too hard at all. Anyways, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and slap the shit out like and subscribe. And I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati out.